hello everyone and welcome back and welcome if you're new uh, my name is Kira and I am a homemaker okay so today y'all we have a few things that I need to get done and some of them are for me so it's about that time to get my nails redone I have been putting off getting my nails done I have been putting off getting my toes done and it's springtime so it's time to get all that done um, I have one more load of clothes to fold and it's Genesis clothes remember I told y'all that um, I was gonna be too tired so yeah I just threw them in the dryer they're dry so we're gonna dry them also we're gonna do a crock pot meal it's called Philly cheese uh, Philly cheese steak hash browns or potatoes I think it's potatoes Philly uh, cheese steak potatoes but I say hash brown because you're actually using hash browns you can either use the shredded hash browns or you can use the cubed hash browns I'm gonna be using the shredded because that's all that my local grocery store had in stock um, well, I'm not gonna say in stock but the cheapest that they had in stock I did not feel comfortable spending uh, buku money on a bag of diced um, hash browns but diced is ideally but trust me um, the other ones will work so you will need a your bag of hash browns whatever choice you decide or you can cut up potatoes I feel like I wasn't gonna have time today because we're supposed to be receiving our mattress that we got from the furniture store yesterday so um, I, I don't have time to actually cut up potatoes and cook them so you're gonna need your hash browns of choice um, a can of cream of cheddar I believe is what it's called and you're also going to need some hamburger meat you're also going to need various types of bell peppers but if you know you don't want to use them you don't have to just use a green bell pepper but I'm going to be using green yellow and red and you're going to need a onion make sure you just you brown up your meat and all that uh, we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys how to cook it I'm just trying to give you guys a heads up that way if you need to pause this video and run to the grocery store if you want to make this go ahead be my guest uh, but it's gonna be cooked in a crock pot of course we're gonna brown our meat over the stove and then everything else is gonna go in a crock pot so it's gonna be very very easy you're also gonna need your choice of shredded cheese I'm gonna be using mozzarella and I think it's the Mexican style cheese so whatever cheese of choice you want um, I will also link everything you need in the description box for this video and then um, again I'm gonna show you guys everything that you need as well so um, right now I'm headed to the nail salon so we'll go from there okay okay y'all so I'm back um, I just came back from that sorry if my eye seems like swollen it is swollen um, pollen so I need to go in here and um, take some probably not Benadryl but Cetrazine so I don't get sleepy because it's still I plan on going to work out today we're still supposed to get our mattress delivered to um, our storage building so definitely cannot do Benadryl and plus I'm about to go in here and cook too but yeah it's swollen pretty bad but anywho um, let's go get started hopefully you guys have all of your ingredients remember I'm also gonna put them down in the description box okay okay y'all so um, here are the ingredients you're gonna need whoops Worcestershire sauce <laughs> hopefully I'm saying it wrong um, as far as seasonings you guys do not have to use these seasonings these are what I am choosing to use I am using Tabitha Brown's very good garlic it is salt free I am using some onion powder which is also salt free um, I'm using the Kinder's all-purpose seasoning the Kinder's buttery steakhouse a little bit of Greek all-purpose seasoning the cattleman steak seasoning and the steak blend I'm also instead of cutting up some garlic or mincing some garlic I'm gonna be adding a little bit of garlic paste um, you're gonna need I said a can of cream of cheddar but um, I have this one it'll do the same thing it's just it's white but the cream of cheddar will do the same thing this one is just a white cheddar but the regular one will do the exact same thing um, I have half an onion I would have loved to use a whole onion but I don't know if y'all have picky eaters in your family but Kevin 
and Jen, if they see an onion, they will pick it out. And so um, I diced them up very finely or as, as fine as I could to, you know, hide them while cooking. But yeah, they like if I make rice and gravy or anything with onions, like I have to make sure I dice them very finely. Otherwise, they won't eat it. And then here I have sorry i hear the house phone ringing here i have my peppers i have some bell peppers and i have yellow uh red and orange bell peppers these they, if they look frozen it's because they are frozen so y'all remember when i did that grocery haul from aldi's when i bought all those peppers i told y'all like it's very easy and convenient especially if you're a working mom or not even working especially if you have multiple kids or something like it's easy to go ahead on and dice up your peppers and your vegetables and just basically freeze them and you just use them as you go uh, i have a freezer bag two three freezer bag and i also have my celery too but we're not using celery today and it's all cut up and in the freezer and so any recipe that calls for those vegetables all i have to do is pull them out and throw them in the skillet okay so uh, you also need ground beef i'm using two pounds of ground beef and i am using the hash browns from Aldi's. Again, uh, you are supposed to be using the Dice hash browns, but I didn't want to go in any other store. And this was the only hash browns they had. I promise you, it will do the same. You're going to need your uh, cheese of choice. I'm using the Mexican four cheese. And then you're going to need at least uh, a cup of sour cream. And this is literally probably all I have left is a cup. And then um, I haven't decided yet, depending on... I may add just a tad bit of chicken broth, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to start browning my brown, my ground beef, and then I'll show you guys, okay? Oh, and a crock pot. Um, it's good to have a crock pot, but you don't have to use a crock pot. You can literally do this on your stove, but this is just, I call it a crock pot recipe because most people do it in a crock pot and it's easy. All you have to do is pour it in a crock pot and forget about it, basically. Okay y'all, so we're gonna start off with some crock pot liners. I absolutely love these crock pot liners. If y'all don't have them, you don't know what you're missing. I've tried other crock pot liners. Like I believe Dollar Tree has a brand, a brand um, Dollar General, all of them. And every time I stir, I end up tearing it. So I definitely recommend the Reynolds um, crock pot bags. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just pouring off my um, hash browns into my crock pot. You can use, you know, like I said, regular potatoes, like actual cut up potatoes, or you can use the diced ones. I prefer the diced ones, but my store did not have them. So you just want to make sure you pour those into the crock pot um, first. I had my crock pot already on hot. That way, um, once I added the, the cold ingredients like the sour cream and the hash browns, um, it wouldn't take forever to heat the crock pot up. And then I also went in and I seasoned it with um, salt and black pepper. We don't want no bland um, hash browns. <laughs> so make sure y'all thoroughly season the hash browns. It's just like potatoes. You need to season potatoes. You need to season french fries. So add a little salt and black pepper to it. Um, I'm going to go ahead on and cover it. Like I said, just so I can keep the heat and everything uh, flowing. Um, I browned my meat off camera. It's pretty simple on how to brown your meat. I use the ingredients that I showed previously, but you can use whatever ingredients you want. Uh, I'm sorry, not ingredients, seasoning. Uh, I got had a brain fart for a minute use whatever seasoning you want um i went ahead on next and added my cream of cheddar now this cream of cheddar i cannot find it here and it's probably because i got it when i went to texas so there's a store out there in texas that's called heb y'all and when i tell you that is my store like that is my store anytime we go over to texas like we literally shop at heb and get our meat they have the best meat and like you've seen like you've never seen a can of cream of cheddar you know like 
white cheddar at that so uh, I love 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 it so if y'all are watching this and y'all have your local HEB near you guys make sure y'all check out that HEB and look for that white cheddar um, after I added my white cheddar I went ahead on and added my <laughs> sour cream y'all seen I had a hard time trying to get it out but I was able to get it out and that was about right at a cup of sour cream now if you don't like sour cream you don't have to use sour cream you can also use cream cheese to do the same thing I also ended up adding a little bit of chicken broth that I did not show on camera but all I did was take some um, nor like the nor chicken seasoning I got some hot water and I added about a half of cup of water got it dissolved got my powder dissolved real well and added it over off in there to thicken it up some and then towards the end I added the rest of my cheese so right here um, <laughs> me and Kevin were talking about the appraisal that we have scheduled hopefully March the 15th we're hoping we can get an appraiser in much much sooner but uh, we were just discussing a few things <laughs> for the house and so we were you know talking about what if the appraisal you know like decides that the house is not worth what's being sold for and then you know normally the banks they want to try to sell you the house or approve you for the amount even though they've approved you for a higher amount they try to go back on the amount that um the appraiser recommend and so we were just trying to figure out like what we would do uh i guess if it came to that that situation if any of y'all have just recently bought a house or you know or going through the process let us know like comment let us know if your process was easy if your process was hard uh if there's anything that you recommend to people like let us know definitely let us know but this meal turned out really really good like kevin loved it y'all like he took half of it and that was a big crock pot full y'all seen how full it was he took half of it to work <laughs> like half of it i made him a big old rubber made tupperware full and he took half of that to work so in eight i don't know maybe a quarter of it while he was sitting there look at him okay everyone um so the meal came out really good it was amazing y'all my eye is still like puffy from the pollen i did take some allergy medicine so hopefully it, it kicks in but the meal was delicious kevin took over half of what i had left in the crock pot to work with him um so it was really good even my grandma and daughter liked it she now nah, she did want pizza in the end so i had to run to walmart and get her some more medicine because um as, as i mentioned in the previous video she has eczema so any little thing like pollen it triggers her breakout and so like she was playing outside on the porch today and she kind of got in it or whatever and so it she she whelped up so normally just a little bit of benadryl or i try to alternate between benadryl and um claritin because you know i don't i don't want her to be sleepy and drowsy all the time i just give her benadryl at night and during the day i give her claritin so i end up giving her having to run to walmart and grab some of that and then while i was at walmart i wanted to show you guys um me picking the stuff up at walmart but as i was at walmart i received a call from the furniture company and i listen this mattress and the box spring and all this was supposed to been have delivered around four something so again this is about 5 30 and i called them and i was like hey like y'all didn't forget about us did you like i need my mattress i paid for it and the guy apologized he was like yeah we had to stop at the store and get some snacks and stuff and i was like okay i guess y'all here okay i'm coming and so um yeah <laughs> so that's jen she's calling me she's done eating her uh pizza so she's ready for a wipe off and to bed she goes so um 
yeah that's pretty much it we got our mattress and stuff in i was able to put it into our storage hence that we don't have any room here at grandma's right now so um i was able to get it in storage and i came home and that was it so everything is done laundry is done the dishes is done uh, there wasn't much to clean up, especially with a crock pot. I used the crock pot liner, and so that made it very, very easy. If y'all aren't using crock pot liners, you don't know what you're missing. Um, that's pretty much it, Kevin. <clears throat> I don't think I told y'all this, but Kevin job forgot to pay for a hotel room for them, so he had to drive. He's on night shift, so he had to drive all the way back home from their location full day this morning and he had to get up early today he left the house like around three o'clock um today so he had to head back to that location but he said that they got them a hotel room so thank the lord but yeah so that is pretty much it um if y'all have any questions any concerns um anything please comment let me know um please make sure y'all hit like y'all hit subscribe y'all hit that notification bell that way anytime i upload any new content y'all are aware and made aware of it okay so without anything else i hope you guys have a good night and god bless you all